Hey, it's Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and today we're here to talk about portability and why it's a great tool to save you a lot of money when you're selling a home and buying a new one. Okay, so portability was part of the Save Our Homes amendments that we put to the Florida Constitution in 1992. Um, so when you're uh, when you have your homesteaded property, basically the, the portability lets you carry over the lower tax base of your homesteaded property to your next property that you're purchasing to keep your taxes low. So I'm going to give you an example of a current client that I have right now and how this actually applies to people. So my current client owns a home in Coral Springs. They bought it in 1991 for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. It's currently on the market today for $380,000 and the current taxes are about $3,000 a year, give or take a dollar here. So their current taxes are $3,000 a year and when they sell their property for $380,000, they're gonna move up to Port St. Lucie, they're retiring, so they're uh, gonna buy a somewhat cheaper property around $250,000. So they're able to take that tax savings that they've had by having their homestead exemption on their property for so many years and when they go buy their new property for $250,000, their taxes are actually gonna go down. It'll only be about $1,600 a year. If they had not had this portability, first of all, they'd have higher taxes over the whole last 20 years that they've owned the property, 28 years almost. Uh, but their new property, the taxes would end up being $3,600 a year. So it's a substantial tax savings uh, that accumulates over the years um, and this, this goes whether you are upsizing or downsizing. If you've owned a home for a while and then you go to buy a bigger home, you get to keep that, you know, that tax savings so your taxes will be less on the bigger home than they would have been had you not have portability. So how can you calculate portability? This is a really good question. When you go to your specific property on the property appraiser website, whether it's in Palm Beach County or Broward County, if you go to your specific property, on Broward County, there's a box at the top. It says Portability Calculator. Click or Portability Estimator. Click on that. It'll it'll pull in some data automatically, and then it will just ask you what's the value of the property that you're going to purchase, and it'll ask you what in what year did you sell your old house. So you can click the year that you sold it. You can enter in the new purchase price. Uh, you can click on any other exemptions that you might have, whether it's a widow or Know, disability, whatever it may be, and it will tell you what your new taxes are going to be. So for a lot of people, you know, if you don't know about this, thinking, oh, I don't want to sell my house and then downsize because I'm going to get a smaller house and my taxes are still going to be very, very high, that may not be the case. So I would highly encourage you to check out the property appraiser, click on the portability estimator at the very, very top of the page on your specific property and see what your new taxes would be. Uh, it might be a, a much bigger savings than you think and it might you know, help you make the decision one way or the other whether or not to sell and downsize or upsize or whatever it is that you're looking to do. Uh, in Palm Beach County to get, to get the portability estimator, again, you have to go to your specific property and you have to scroll down a little bit. It's in the middle of the page. Uh, but if you have any questions about your specific property and what the portability is going to be, just give me a call, shoot me a text. Um, I will walk you through it step by step so you have you know, all the information in front of you so you can make the best decision for you. So I hope that was helpful in explaining what portability is. It's a little bit of a, a confusing topic, uh, but it does help you save a lot of money when you're selling and then buying again. If you have any other questions or topics that you'd like me to cover in my video series here, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to answer any of your questions. If you have the question, there's a very good chance someone else does, and I want to make sure I'm answering them. So thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.